Auntie Jillian, thank you for coming back to my channel. It's gonna be a real thing, and you know why it's gonna be a real thing? <laughs> because Uncle Warren, hey, he's a real serious jerk chicken maker, you know. And Hello. you guys requested for him to make jerk chicken, so no other person can make it like Uncle Warren because his middle name is Jerk. I mean jerk. jerk chicken maker. <laughs> I, I mean making the jerk chicken real good. Jerk okay, chicken. Miss, miss Roti. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. All I didn't right. mean you're a jerk. But yes, I meant jerk, but gotcha. not jerk. Oh, gotcha. All right, you know what? Ah, Forget. Let's ah. start again. No, why? Well, no, it's, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Yes, it's a all real right. thing. All right, so get going so now. We're get going. Uh, all right, so first of all, you want to make sure that your chicken is washed and it's ch chopped up. Next thing I like to do is make sure that I put poke some holes in the chicken so that it will actually <laughs> get your seasoning okay. right in place. So I don't know why I find that so funny. Yeah. I don't know I why like I find about poke your chicken. Poke your chicken, man. Poke, pokey, get pokey some holes man. in there. <laughs> so now it's real simple. They, they've made it real simple because most of the ingredients you can actually get at the store. You don't necessarily have to make it yourself. So I'm going to put a little black pepper. So I'm going to pour the black pepper right over the meat, just like that. Just sprinkle in. And Uncle Warren, I think you should tell them that it doesn't matter what black pepper and what kind of thing. Because, yeah. you know, they're all going to be saying, oh, we have to go out and buy ivory black pepper. And no, ting. absolutely not. Black no, pepper is black pepper. pepper. You, want. you know, I love my garlic, so I always like to add some garlic in there. So this is roasted garlic and uh you know it's like some caribbean spice so again you can get this at the west indian store so you can just pour that in so what can you might have to hold this so what kind of sauce were you holding this thing hi boy oh, sorry yeah right there but you cut right okay but it's a real thing you know lovelies right there okay i have to train you Tilt so it. what kind of jerk sauce? Yeah, what kind of jerk what kind of jerk sauce are you recommending for the lovelies to use? Well, I would suggest that you stick with a Jamaican jerk sauce. Stick with Irish, stick with Grace, uh Wanda Chuck or uh, Walker's Wood. Walker's Wood is really good. That's my favorite actually. So um but hold on, I would hold on, hold on. Walker's Wood? Walker's Wood. Just uh, Is this a sponsored video? <laughs> it's not a sponsored video, but what, Walker's, Walker's Wood, Wood hit me up me. because you know what? This he just gave y'all a big, big free sponsorship ad. <laughs> yeah, but the question you were asking. No, I'm was, only kidding. Um, you know, can you go in and buy any jerk sauce? And my answer to that is stick to a Jamaican jerk sauce because you don't go to a Chinese restaurant and order Italian, right? So you don't want to go buy some jerk sauce from <laughs> from from a Mexican. <laughs> so it's Mexican true. Me okay. Jerk sauce. So stick to Jamaican stick jerk to Jamaican seasoning, seasoning because you know that's where the specialty. That's seasoning where it's is come from. from. That's the originator. Oh, so, Lord! I tell you, Jamaicans mm -hmm. always like to big up themselves. You know, big it up. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, in Trinidad, we do jerk um, chicken too. You know. Uh, jerk what? We just do jerk chicken. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just preheating the grill to about 450. When you mean grill, you mean the barbecue? The barbecue grill. All right. Yeah, okay. the barbecue grill All is right. being prepared right now. So once it's warm, I'm going to add the meat and then take it from there. Oh, it just seems so tropical out here. But don't be fooled because I feel in a chill. So come let me put this chicken on there on the grill quick. Okay, so I've added a touch of oil to the grill so that the chicken does not stick mm -hmm. to the grill. That barbecue real hot. It's hot, so I've got to turn it down because the last thing you want to do is to have this barbecue flame up, right? So 
And you want to slow cook it or what? You want to slow cook it for sure. But wait, this thing could be done in the oven too, you know. You can actually jerk in the oven as well too. And maybe that's the next video, right? Is in the oven? I can show you how to do it in the oven as well, yeah. But I would think that is the same thing like the barbecue, except you're you're seasoning it up the same way that you said, and then they just stick it in the oven and put it on 400, right? Yeah, Until it's you're, done. At the end of the day, you're absolutely right. You're so just, no no video coming, just repeating the same thing and then putting it in the oven. If you're gonna add, if you're gonna put it in the oven, you you're you're gonna add your onions and your garlic and your thyme and your ginger and all of that. You oh, know? you put more so seasoning you because put more seasoning and it adds a bit of gravy in the oven. Oh, so right? we're just doing it dry here, yeah, not as much just, because you don't really. want the thing. Oh, all right, if I you see. if you add all of that stuff, it's just gonna fall off. So it don't right. make any sense you you really add any of that. Okay. Okay. So, so to put it in the oven, they're gonna put more seasoning plus their garlic, the onions, ginger the a little bit, the thyme, and put it in. Because exactly. that way it can marinate and cook up in the um in your pot. In the pot. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's wait and see. Okay, so this is all right, so about 30, about 40 minutes or so. But you just can't leave it there, you know, you have to turn it. Well, I've turned it down, so it's, it's gonna slow cook. And then in about uh, 15 minutes or so, I'm gonna go back out and turn it. Okay, so we'll come back and show you lovelies what it looks like when it's almost finished, and then again when it's finished. <laughs> Yeah, so t in, in terms of making sure that it's uh, it's cooked, you basically want to poke it, make sure that there's no <laughs> blood coming out of it. That looks great. You're eating it with salad. Yeah, trying to be healthy. Mm -hmm. that Watching looks the great. waistline. Watch any waistline. So that's really good. You can have it with rice and peas and maybe that'll be the next video. Cooking for you is the rice, rice and, and peas. peas. Yeah. Absolutely. So there you go, my lovelies. You know how to make jerk chicken now. Add that to your Caribbean list. So we'll see you guys the next time. I'll leave the ingredients in the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. To like, share, subscribe. Yes, subscribe. And I'll see you guys again the next time.